This winter, mornings at the farm start out pretty early for me, and I'm usually downstairs before the sun has even come up. The first place I go once I'm downstairs is to the mudroom, and this is so I can start getting ready to go outside and take care of the horses. It's been a pretty cold winter here, colder than usual, colder than it's been in years, so I make sure I layer up before going outside. I have overalls, a coat, and some boots that help keep me warm as I do farm chores. At this point, it's usually around 6.30 or 7 a.m. in the morning. I try to leave for work around 8, and so I want to give myself plenty of time to take care of the animals and see to anything if there's anything else that needs to be done. Next, I put on Trico's little coat so she can go outside and use the bathroom. She's a wimp like me and she doesn't like the cold either. I've been soaking the horse's alfalfa overnight and leaving it in the mud room so it doesn't freeze. I love being outside in the morning. It's probably my most favorite time of day. No one's awake yet and the sun is just rising. After I call the horses, I go and let the cats out. Hi, cat boy. I got them. Come in. Hey, Smeagol. Did you have a good night? Huh? You want to go to the barn? And on my way down to the barn, I check the water, and Gollum always likes to get a little sip from the water buckets. So then I head down to the barn, which is at the bottom of the hill. And here I'll prepare the rest of the horses' food they have their soaked alfalfa in a bucket already, and I prefer alfalfa just because it's less sugar and it gives protein since it's winter and the grass is dying. Tucker doesn't get much else, but Yoshi's gonna get quite a few other supplements. He gets a curcumin supplement, and this is for inflammation in his body. He has uveitis in his eyes especially, which is inflammation, so we're just trying to combat that. He gets a probiotic. We're trying to make his gut healthy so that the rest of him will be healthy. So I add that to his food. The last supplement he gets is called chlorella, and it's actually a chlorophyll supplement. We did a test on him and found that he had a high level of heavy metals in his system, and so this supplement is to combat that specifically. Yoshi has also had a sinus infection, so I'm just gonna add his antibiotic to his feed. He's almost done with this, and he's been doing a lot better with his sinus infection, so I'm just gonna mix that all together for him. He is a little bit of a picky eater, and so I just want to encourage him to eat it. Then I head out to feed the horses. Good morning, boys. Yoshi boy, let's go. Yeah. I'll feed Yoshi in this little turnout and he gets a pretty big feed tub just because he spills his food everywhere. Hi Yoshi boy. So if you're wondering more about Yoshi's diet and his supplements, this video is sponsored by Five Strands. And Five Strands is a company that provides intolerance testing. They provide testing for humans, dogs, and horses. They sent us a test and we tested Yoshi. They gave us a list of his intolerances back. They also gave us a consultation and they were able to pinpoint where these intolerances were coming from. I cannot recommend Five Strands enough. Even by just switching Yoshi's diet a few weeks ago, I've seen a change for the better. You can use Carmella 15 and and you'll get 15% off of your order. And you can click the link in the description to go check out Five Strands and their website. After I let Yoshi in, I go out and feed Tucker. He just eats in his little feed pan there. But he's so patient, he'll just wait at the gate and he'll let Yoshi in and he'll let me go dump his grain and then he'll eat. So once the boys are eating, I have some farm chores I need to take care of. First, I prepare their food for the evenings. I put some alfalfa in their buckets that I'll soak. Next, it's time to go clean up some poop. So we had a massive winter storm here the other week and I was on vacation and then I came home and pipes had busted in our house, trees had landed on the fence, so I hadn't really got to cleaning yet. I'm just gonna clean out this run-in. The horses were in there during the storm, so it's time to clean it out. All the poop was frozen actually because it got down to the negatives here. 
Today it's actually warm enough I can go out there and start working. Now I'm heading to our manure pile and I'm going to go dump my pile here. This is also my compost. I have some pumpkins that are rotting, some apples, and I'm gonna hopefully make some mulch and fertilizer. We'll see. This morning was particularly warmer than it had been, and so I had left the horse's blankets off the night before. Otherwise, at this time, this is when I would also be taking off blankets and putting them in the barn and getting the boys ready for the day. Are you done, Tuck? You have scratches anywhere. I don't have treats because I just fed you. Are you going to have a good day? Me too. During the storm, the boys mainly stayed down in this area, and so they had designated a poop corner. And so I decided to pick up the poop corner. Believe it or not, the poop was still frozen from the storm. So it was a lot harder than usual. Packer, that's extra. Where have you been? We've been looking for you. You want to eat soon? We're almost done. There was also this branch that had gotten blown out, and so I was gonna pick that up as well. It was a lot heavier than it looked. I thought it was gonna be lighter. So I just threw it over the fence so I could go put it in our brush pile later. It's time to head back down and get everyone situated for the day. I'm going to dump this wheelbarrow, and then I'm going to go put on Yoshi's little fly mask. Since Yoshi does have uveitis in his eyes, the fly mask just helps to protect his eyes from the sun and kind of deflect the glare so that it's not as harmful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, time to put this on, bud. Mm. So I get Yoshi out. Bye boys. Bye Tuck. I'll see you later. Now that the barn chores are done, it's time to go back up to the house and get ready for the rest of my day. So I get Trico and it's time to go in. Come on Trike. Gollum, you cannot go in there. Come on. So we get in the house, I take off Trico's little coat and I take off all of my layers that I've put on The next thing I do, since we don't have running water down at the barn at the moment, is I run some water over the alfalfa just so I can soak and be ready for evening feeding time. Then the food goes in the mudroom to soak for the rest of the day, and Trico's begging for her treat. She gets the treat at the same time every morning, so she does some tricks, and that's how we start out our morning.